Hello and we are by the Time Eon Foundation and we know this foundation for its uh, fantastic project Naissance du Montre but now there's a new uh, iteration, a new project on the table and we're going to talk about this and this one is a very interesting one because it combines very different people, very different styles and still being innovative and with a mix of traditions. So we'll start first with Stephen and uh, if you can explain us just a few words about uh, this, uh, this uh, new endeavor. Of course, thank you Marc-André and uh, welcome here. So um, with Time Ian Foundation, of course, with Robert, myself and, uh, and Philippe's uh, support, we had the first project Naissance Student Montre with uh, Michel Boulanger as the uh, student, if you like. And then um, a couple of years ago we we were talking uh, with Martin, Felix, and uh, we learned of a project with Dominic and Serrano, uh, to, uh, which was very similar, which was already quite advanced. So for us, uh, for the foundation, Time In Foundation, we thought, you know, this is exactly the sort of project that we can perhaps help them to communicate a bit and to perhaps find a way to, uh, you know, to, to do something together. Why not, you know? So um, this was the, uh, the sort of the impetus to kick off and then uh, well, Martin uh, can uh, can complete uh, a little bit. So, because just for the little story, so uh, we have um, Dominic and Sarah. No, that is not here. That are two watchmakers working generally for Uberk, and uh, but they've done this like kind of a side project, uh, and now it's been taken kind of supervised by uh, Time In Foundation. But behind Time In Foundation, obviously, you have Global Force. Well, Stephen Force and Robert Global. So this is kind of a nice kind of. Family, it's a mix that is kind of uh, strange but very enthusiastic, I would say. Yeah, it's actually not that strange because our engineers, our watchmakers, they have to, of course, know, you know, their, their they have to know how to make these watches. And they have to know it from scratch and say, I'm an artist. I'm, a, you know, I know that one has to learn to draw first in order to understand, and therefore, uh, you know, you have to start from scratch. You have to know the thinking you know and you have to know the the history you have to know the skills so th that's uh, great for us of course that our engineers themselves they're teachers they teach at the watchmaking school and uh, in this sense it's absolutely crucial for us that one starts uh, from the beginning you know with the first tools and so now we can talk with uh, Dominic, this is the, the young watchmaker involved in this project, like I've seen on the, <laughs> on the press release. So uh, tell us a bit about how this is, this is going for you. Well, it's really a co-creation and what is wonderful, as you can read, bridging the past and future of fine watchmaking. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly Urwerk, Global Force, all the people involved coming together have the same goal different angles of view and that is a, it's really a great project and uh, I'm happy that we can do this because we are doing funny, interesting, really latest things for Urwerk and on the other side Global Force which has its perfection on the finish and now coming these two directions together I think that will really be a co-creation, something special. So concretely uh, what are we aiming for in terms of kind of timepiece? I know you can't say already everything about it, but obviously there's a few things that you can say. Well, yes, the uh, you know clearly with this, uh, as we've mentioned here, the the mixture of different uh, skills uh, skill sets together. Uh, the idea is with Dominique and uh, Serrano, they will construct a movement with input from Robert and myself uh, on the architecture of the movement and then working with uh, Felix and Martin to, uh, all together to, to make it really a co-creation which is going to be something very exciting <coughs> and uh, of course it's going to take a bit of time so that's why we can't spill the beans too fast on what we're going to be exactly coming up with but um, it's going to be very exciting and again the whole idea is to, to be able to use this to raise uh, uh, the profile on the loss of these skills to, uh, and to be able to uh, raise some funds, additional funds, to continue the sort of workshop we're doing here in SIHH. To, you know, we're trying to bring in new partners, new supporters, and uh, really, uh, you know, pay attention and bring uh, attention to the loss of the skills and to address that and do something with it. So, um, as Martin said, with <coughs> with uh, with these guys who teach at the Soliton School, so um, with their um, with their input there. They're spreading this know-how and uh, we're able to, to start to uh, raise the profile of watchmaking 
skills and traditional skills and that we can't just let them die and disappear. Absolutely. Uh, and in terms of uh, time frame, is there, I mean, what are kind of the, uh, the next steps uh, for you? Well, the goal is to, to show you at the same place next year uh -huh. a working movement. Okay. Not finished, therefore we have these young students, but a working movement, that is our goal. And in terms of uh, some ideas of design of how this kind of uh, mixture can look like, is there also something that will be unveiled around the same time frame? Uh, of course we started with this process. It uh, has to be a ping pong, it has to be an exchange. And uh, so we are two different uh, brands, with, especially with the, you know, let's say the style. It's quite uh, not opposite, but different. And so, of course, that will be a very interesting, uh, mm. you know, work and to communication find yeah. to find yeah. a way how to do yeah. that properly. Yeah. But that also must be very exciting for people to see you know, how these two brands, you know, what what would come out of this, you know. Yeah. That would be, yeah. So that's yeah. interesting to see. Well, I mean, this is really a cool project. I mean, I love those kind of things where people are pulling themselves a bit together and showing that instead of fighting each other in each, everyone's corner and things like that, there are nice, creative and innovative synergies that can be pulled among cool players. Well, thank you very much for your time sure. and congrats and best of luck with this project. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you.